Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to increase the quality of animal pelts. And the way we're going to be doing it isn't a guarantee to increase it every time, but there's a chance that you can increase it. And what we need to do is craft the trinket using the legendary buck, the parts that come off the legendary buck. So looking on the map, we are heading just northwest of Strawberry, and you'll see here this is the location for the legendary buck. A lot of you are already going to know exactly what to do for this. You've probably already done it. But there's still some people saying that they can't find three stars of certain animals. And after doing this, you no longer need to search and definitely get a three star pelt. Because the two star animals will occasionally drop the perfect pelt. So for those of you that haven't done it, this should help you with hunting. And it should make your time a lot easier because I know there's some of you that have spent like two days searching for certain animals to get the free star pelt. You're going to see top left that we've entered the legendary animal territory. And when you get into the territory for the legendary buck, you're going to have to search for clues to find the location of the animal specifically. So come into the southwest side of the words Blackbone Forest. You're going to find a question mark. When you found a clue you'll see a question mark on your map and when you come over to these little trees you're going to see some buck fur on the floor then it's going to trigger tracking the legendary buck and I need to quickly go back to my horse and get a strong gun and when you get to this tree that's fallen it's not actually going to show you any more direction so what we're going to have to do is climb over and then over here, there is another clue that we have to inspect. Which is the poo poo of the legendary buck. And again, the track is going to stop when we get to these trees. But there's something up there. So we're going to go and inspect that as well. Which is what's hopefully going to be some fresher poo. Okay, and then if we keep going up here, we are going to find the legendary buck. Two shots with a Springfield rifle with express rounds is going to kill it. So we're going to skin it. We're going to stow it on the back of our horse and head to the fence. When we get to the fence, we are going to go into the craft option. And you're going to have the buck and the trinket. It's also going to cost $22 to craft. As well as having the legendary buck antler. But once we've crafted it, we can now see that the player receives higher quality skinned animal parts. And when you come to a trapper with the legendary buck pelt, you can sell it to him and he'll keep it in his inventory. And then you can make some clothing. So if you go into the trophy buck, you'll see that it says we have two legendary buck pelts. Just having the one because you can only track the legendary animals once. The trapper would actually store enough for you to create the full outfit. So by hunting the legendary animals, not only are you going to be able to craft new outfits and stuff, you can also sell the pelts to the trapper in the first place in order to unlock the crafting requirement for the outfits. But we're going to go hunting quickly before we end the video so that I can show you guys. Hopefully if we can find a two star animal, we can get it to drop a perfect pelt. So there we go, there's the example. We killed a two star squirrel with the varmint rifle and when we picked it up you saw that there was the perfect carcass. That is going to be the end of the video guys. Let me know in the comments the luck you're having using this if you've already killed the legendary buck and crafted the trinket. And also if there's anything else you need help with in the game let me know in the comments and I will do my very best to do videos for it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.